So in this video, I'm just going to look at a couple of examples of how you would solve uh, trig equations that involve the reciprocal functions. Um, all the big ideas that we need are currently already on this screen. Uh, so things that we'd be looking for are what are the reciprocal functions. Um, again, let's just remind it right here. Uh, the second thing that we might need is the unit circle. And the third thing is, thing is just a special property of proportions, um, which you see indicated here on your screen. Um, just saying that if I write a proportion, two fractions equal each other, then I can take the reciprocal of both sides, flip them both over, and that proportion is also true. And again, that's because the cross products are the same uh, on both of those. So those are the three big ideas that we would need in order to successfully complete this uh, task. So let's just try a couple of examples. First example I'm going to look at is secant of x equals 2. Now, whenever we're solving any trig equation, the first thing we want to do is get the trig function alone. That's already the case in this example. Um, so the next thing that we want to do is how do we deal with this? We need to interpret what secant of x is. So if I look over here at this chart, or if I just remember it, I know that secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So in addition to wanting to write each of the equations in terms of one function, getting that alone, I then ultimately want to write it in terms of one of the big three functions, uh, sine, cosine, and tangent. So the equation that was given is the same as the equation that is wrote, that 1 over cosine equals 2. Now here's where this proportion idea is going to come into play. Uh, I know that 2 is the same as 2 over 1. I can't solve for something that's in the denominator, uh, so we always have to kind of get it out of the denominator. I could cross multiply and then work to get it alone again here, or I could use this proportion property and say if I flip over or take the reciprocal of both sides, then my equation will still have the same value. So that's what I'm going to do. 1 over cosine is the reciprocal of cosine, so I flip that over, and then 2 over 1, I reciprocal to 1 over 2. My one heads up here is um, if you are going to um, rewrite, some people try to avoid the rewrite step right here, and they jumped right to starting at this step. If you're going to do that, you have to also take the reciprocal of the right-hand side of the equation at the same time. Uh, so don't forget to take the reciprocal of both sides. Um, now that I have this in terms of cosine, this is just a basic equation. I'm looking for what angles uh, have cosine or x values of a half. So I'm going to my unit circle, and I see it happens right here and then directly down right there. Um, we're going to go with the same range we've been working with throughout. We're going to go with that with a range of 0 less than or equal to uh, x less than 2 pi, so everything within that first rotation. Um, so in this particular example, I get that the x value comes out to be pi over 3 um, or 5 pi over 3, and that question is done. I would like to take a minute to try to look at an example that's maybe uh, a little bit more involved uh, than that. So let me get some, it's a little bit smaller. Um, so let me give you a second example. So we'll call this example two. Uh, in this question, um, I'm just going to start out with a little more going on. So I'm going to start out with the equation square root of three times the cosecant of x plus one equals three. So in this equation, this is more typical, um, I need to start by getting cosecant of x alone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to do that by subtracting the 1 from both sides. So I have the square root of 3 times the cosecant of x equals 2. And then from there, we need to divide both sides by the square root of 3. So now I have that the cosecant of x equals 2 over the square root of 3. We know that cosecant of x is the reciprocal of sine, so I could write this as 1 over the sine of x equals 2 over root 3, which means that now I can take the reciprocal of both sides and get that the sine of x equals the square root of 3 over 2. And if that is the case, then all we have to do is go to our unit circle, or remember what the universe, unit circle tells us. We're looking for where y 
equal square root of 3 over 2. Um, so that's right here. And then again, directly across has the same y value, so also over there. So I get that the angles, this is true for, are pi over 3 and 2 pi over 3. So big ideas, get the trig function by its, the reciprocal function by itself first. After that, go ahead and rewrite that reciprocal function as 1 over one of the big three functions, sine, cosine, or tangent. Once we've done that step, we now want to take the reciprocal of both sides using this proportion rule. And then again, it's using our unit circle or our understanding of it to find the angles between 0 and 2 pi that that um, ratio over here would hold true for.